Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on the Divine Messages podcast. My name is Karina, and I am a psychic medium out of Calgary, Alberta. Today's episode is all about the holidays. It is Christmas Eve tonight, and I wanted to do an episode to try to help those that are struggling. Up until I had my children, I hated Christmas time. While everyone was out happily shopping and decorating, I was desperately trying not to fall into a terrible depression. Sadly, I don't have any happy memories as a child at Christmas. I do have quite a few awful ones, though. Not only do I remember the horrible fights my parents had at that time of year, and really all year round, but somehow it always escalated to the extreme during the month of December. But I also remember trauma. So every year as Christmas would approach, I would feel a deep sadness deep within me, and I felt as if I was suffocating. I envied a lot of my friends and their families because they were all so happy and excited, or at least that's how it seemed to me. But I was drowning, and I was dreading anything to do with Christmas time. So when I moved out on my own, I didn't care about celebrating Christmas. Instead, I went out and drank myself silly to numb my emotions. Even when my husband and I first got together, I wanted nothing to do with celebrating. I begged him year after year to run away on a holiday, which we did several times. And when we were at home, I didn't even decorate. I remember even when I had my first son, I had no Christmas decorations whatsoever. I had to go out and start buying things. The kids really helped me to overcome that dread. It was actually pretty amazing to start to enjoy Christmas because of the kids. And as they got older, it brought me so much happiness to make it magical for them. I realized that the happier they were, the happier my inner child became. I can now say that I enjoy the holidays with my boys except for one small detail. I wish that we would have family around us to enjoy it with. For 14 years, we have spent too many of those with no family around, and it has been lonely. But I can't complain as we really do have each other. But to be honest here, as magical as I try to make Christmas for my kids, I've had to try to keep my spirits high because every time I would hear that my friends had their families coming over to celebrate with them, my heart would just hurt. I would give anything to have family around just to share with my boys. I would be happy for my friends and it would be so nice to see all of their photos posted online, but yet it triggered a pain within me for what I didn't have. I never took it out on anyone because as a healer, I decided to break that pattern of hurt people, hurt others. Instead, I cried behind closed doors myself when Nick and the boys weren't around. So not only was I reminded of old trauma at Christmas, I was also reminded that I didn't have any family to share my children with. I've done everything in my power to try to make Christmas as magical as I can. I try my best to make my boys smile and happy so that hopefully one day they will say that Christmas was enjoyable for them. To some people, Christmas is the most exciting time of the year, and for others, it is absolutely torturous. As a medium, the two busiest months of the year for me are November and December, and sadly, I know how difficult this time of year is for a lot of people. They may be desperately missing a past loved one, or they may just be lonely for many other reasons. When we lose a loved one, the holidays can be unbearable. I think of people whenever I go out in public. As an empath, I can feel their pain. I can feel the ones that are hurting so badly. I can feel the ones that are lonely and sad, and I try my best to be as kind as I possibly can be. The world needs so much love these days, and it breaks my heart to see anyone in pain as I have once been during the holidays. I recently posted something on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, and just as I share so much of my truth on this podcast, I also share my true raw feelings on social media. I do it not to gain any sympathy, but I do it because I know that someone out there can relate and maybe they won't feel so alone. I wanted to share it all with you today because it might help to maybe just stop for a moment and appreciate who you have in your life. Sometimes I think we can all take our loved ones for granted and we forget that we each have our own pain. You may not even realize but maybe you aren't the only one that's struggling and even though you may get irritated or upset by your family, just try to remember that if they did choose to be in your life, people like me would give anything to have those people. And so this is what I posted. I had to stop today and remind myself that I have some pretty incredible people in my life. They are the ones that choose to be a part of my world. I often get sad when I think about the family that I don't have, the ones that want nothing to do with my children. I hurt for my babies when they question why they don't have grandparents to take them for the weekend like their friends do. 
I get sad when I hear that people I know take their families for granted. They don't realize how blessed they are and that they want to be a part of their lives. They complain that they drive them crazy even when I see that they are so loving and caring towards them. They just don't see how good they have it. We have been across Canada for 14 years now. We have no family around us. And not only are they not around us, they choose not to be in our lives. It saddens me when my kids question why they don't want to be a part of their lives. I don't have an answer to that. I can only love them even harder. I try to give them all that I didn't have and more. So please do me a favor. If you have parents that are a part of your life or your children's lives, cherish them. They may drive you crazy from time to time, but trust me, I would give anything for that kind of crazy. My children would give anything for that kind of crazy as well. The holidays are upon us and for the last 14 years I've had to explain why we don't get to go to Grandma's house for dinner. If you have family that you get to be with for those special days, try to remember to look past their seeming errors and love them anyways. Love them for wanting to be a part of your life. I had to stop and find the gratitude today for the ones that love us, even though they are not my blood. I think a lot of people take what they have for granted sometimes. We all do. Today, I choose to remind myself that my children are loved beyond measure, and hopefully that is enough. I do have to focus on what I do have and not what I lack. I hope you all stop for a second tonight to be grateful for the family that you do have in your lives. And that was what I posted. I've said it before and I will say it again. I don't know which is worse, grieving someone who has passed or grieving someone who is alive that chooses not to be a part of your life. Loss is loss no matter what, and it all hurts deeply. What keeps me going in my life is gratitude. Yes, gratitude. I try to remind myself that I am blessed in many ways. I stop and focus on what I do have and all the wonderful people that do want to be a part of my life. I know my loved ones that have crossed to the other side are with me every single day. Not only do they show me through many signs, but I feel them. For all of you that are missing a loved one this Christmas, every Christmas, or any day of the year, trust me when I say that they are with you. They feel and see all of your sadness. They know that you are missing their physical presence and they will do everything they possibly can to show you that they are very much alive and by your side, just in another way. Talk to them and ask them for a clear sign and then be open to them validating their existence. And for those of you that are sad, lonely, depressed, or hurting, especially during the holidays, you are not alone. Your angels and guides are with you helping to hold you up. Even if you feel very alone and you can't feel them, they are there. I pray that you can feel their loving arms around you tonight and always. So I want to leave you all with this today. That saying, you never know what someone is going through, be kind always, is so true. You never know what pain someone is hiding behind that smile. You never know how badly they are grieving a lost loved one. You never know how sad and lonely someone may be. So showing compassion to that person that snapped at you in the parking lot or store is the greatest thing you can do for them. You don't know the pain that the holidays can bring on for another person. And smiling at that stranger may just brighten their entire world. And if you are blessed to have good friends or family to share these holidays with, try to look past those seeming errors and try to find that gratitude for having them to share with. For those of you that are grieving the loss of a loved one, and this Christmas is especially difficult, please know that they are truly with you in spirit. For those of you that are feeling very alone or sad because you don't have anyone to share these special days with, I hear you, I see you, I feel you, and I am sending you so much love as you try to keep your head above water. Call on your angels and guides to comfort you if you can, and hopefully that can give you even just a tiny bit of comfort. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today on the Divine Messages podcast. I am wishing you a blessed, safe, and healthy holiday. Merry Christmas, everyone. If you would like to book a session with me, I can be reached at www.divinemessages.ca or on Instagram at divinemessages333 or at the Divine Messages podcast, as well as on Facebook under Divine Messages or the Divine Messages podcast. Please bear in mind that the perspectives and opinions represented in this podcast are based solely on the divine messages interpretations. We can in no way be held responsible for the actions of our followers.